New at 9, a new proposal is looking to get tough on hikers trespassing on off-limits trails. Hikers already face a fine, but now lawmakers want to add on to that for those that run into trouble on these illegal hikes. Nikki Schenfeld has more. There's thousands of hikes statewide. Some are legal, others aren't. Regardless of the hike, hundreds of people are rescued each year. And now lawmakers want people to be held responsible for willingly disregarding any warning sign on a state public trail. Right now, the current status of the law says that the agency who does the, the rescues, you may ask for reimbursement for the cost of the rescue. So we change that to shall. Senator Gabbard tells me it costs around $1,500 for an air rescue, and it's residents who pay the price. And it just doesn't seem fair to me that Hawaii taxpayers are having to pay for someone else's, for, for people's irresponsibility. In a 10 month period last year, Honolulu Fire and Rescue averaged nearly one rescue a day to assist hikers in distress. Keep in mind, the folks that put their lives on the line to make some of these rescues. Why, why put their lives in danger for someone else's stupidity? Now, to give you a quick example, I'm over at Koluvalu Trail near Manoa Falls, and this trail has actually been closed since last year due to a landslide. And as you can see, the chain rope behind me, if you were to disregard that chain rope and go past and need assistance, you could be facing a fine. Gabbard says the first fine would be $500, followed by a $750 fine for the second offense, and possibly a $1,000 fine for a third offense. Honolulu Fire Department is against the bill because they don't want people to feel discouraged to call for help. However, HPD supports the bill, saying this bill would further discourage individuals by increasing penalties for unlawfully entering trails that were closed to the public. The bill has until Friday to pass the Ways and Means Committee. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News.